Now at the second round of meetings, Congress will want to discuss details of seat sharing. Uh, wants Aam Aadmi Party, what are these details? They want Aam Aadmi Party to stay away from states where Congress is in a direct fight with the BJP. And they will also be discussing major, major elections in Chandigarh. Uh, mayor elections in Chandigarh, I beg your pardon, and Uttar Pradesh. Uh, the Congress wants help for Beyond Amethi and Rai Bareilly. So these are the two inputs we are getting, Chandigarh and Uttar Pradesh. And the demands that the Congress will have from each, which is um, Aam Aadmi Party and SP uh, respectively. Currently, we will cut across to Pallavi to bring us more details and context into this breaking input as well as what's been going on within the INDI block. Pallavi, coming back to you, when it comes to Aam Aadmi Party in the Congress, are we expecting any breakthrough any time soon with regards to the seat sharing? Because they've just been going back and forth with uh, regards to several states now. Pallavi, could you hear me? Yeah, uh, no, Shia, I don't think there's going to be a finality to AAP versus Congress seat sharing talks, but certainly the Congress and AAP would expect that the stage two would be taken. Very quickly in the last meeting, only the vote share was kind of discussed. I mean, the AAP said, you know, this is my vote share because we've won in Punjab and Delhi, and therefore we think we're going to do much better in Lok Sabha in comparison to the Congress. The Congress gave me its own set of figures. Today, I think there is going to be a little bit more detailed discussion between the two sides. One, there are mayor elections coming up in Chandigarh. That's got nothing to do with the Lok Sabha election, but that that is what AAP is saying. We want an alliance with the Congress party as far as mayor elections are concerned. Don't put up a candidate over there. Uh, and that will be a test case on whether seat sharing talks can actually be successful between the two of us. So it'll be interesting to see if there's some headway made there. Now, the point what the Congress is looking at whether there's a possibility of a BJP plus Akali alliance in Punjab because hinging on that the Congress may be more generous when it comes to talking about Punjab seat sharing. Delhi will become critical. Congress wants to contest on at least four seats. AAP says you don't have a single MLA, you don't even have a single MP. At the most you can take two seats. But I think the most important factor is and that is the roadblock is the Congress's demand that there are states like Gujarat, Goa for example in Haryana where it's a straight BJP versus Congress fight. AAP entering the frame means that the anti-BJP votes get divided and that becomes an advantage to the BJP and hurts the Congress. So do stay away. The AAP, you can see in Gujarat, they put up one candidate already. In Haryana, also they want to make their foray. So I don't think it is going to be that easy. And I think that's where the challenge between Congress and AAP lies today in the seat sharing talks. Right, Pallavi. Pallavi, thank you for bringing us all those details. Currently, we also have Shireen Elizabeth joining us on this broadcast to bring us more details with regards to what's been going on uh, as far as the seat sharing within the INDI blog goes. Shireen, coming to you firstly, a very good morning. Uh, I will. The question here is particularly on Uttar Pradesh because two seats we see, Amethi and Rai Bareli, these are two very crucial seats and the Samajwadi party has already assured Congress that they will not be fielding their candidates from there. But in the recent updates, we also see Congress in talks with the BSP and that may not make the Samajwadi party extremely happy. So how may we see this playing out? What are the uh, consequences we are anticipating from this? Uh, well, today the Uttar Pradesh meeting is at uh, 4 p.m. at Mukul Vasnik's residence. This is before the Aam Admi Party uh, meeting on Delhi, Goa, Gujarat is concerned. And now uh, the, uh, this is going to be a second round of meeting. Now, like you pointed out, yes, Samajwadi Party time and again has in fact said that they are not willing to have any sort of alliance if BSP comes uh, to the India line. But Congress, in fact, has been making certain statements. Uh, if you see Avinash Pandey, who is the in charge of Uttar Pradesh uh, Congress, he has, in fact, been saying that uh, as far as BSP is concerned, we could welcome them if they want to be part of the alliance. So, of course, this is not going to be a smoother talk as far as Samajwadi Party and Congress is concerned. Congress is, in fact, planning to ask around the 15 to 20 seats when it comes to Uttar Pradesh. Uh, Samajwadi Party, on the other hand, has been saying that when it comes to BSP, we have tried uh, being their uh, partners. We were in alliance with them. And we have seen after the alliance, after uh, the laws, the kind of statements that were made by the BSP chief Mayawati, hence such an alliance should be avoided altogether. So while the Congress is trying to welcome the BSP, uh, Samajwadi Party really wants to distance themselves from the BSP. So it is not going to be a smooth talk. Of course, 
uh, in the second round we have been told that almost everything almost around 90% of the deal will be finalized today uh, when it comes to uttar pradesh when it comes uh, to delhi uh, haryana and uh, gujarat when it comes to the aam aadmi party uh, we will see to from 4 pm is when the meetings are going to begin the meeting mm. uh first meeting at 4 pm and after that with the aam aadmi party congress is meeting at 6 pm so a uh, day long meeting we have to see whether they will actually be able to reach a consensus because right now uh meeting after meeting is happening but really not a seat sharing formula is coming really out of these meetings Right, Shireen. Shireen, thank you for bringing us all those details with regards to the meeting as well as what may be expected as consequences uh, within the INDIA bloc.